I think it's just basically growing up and going through the stages of figuring out who you are and just uh, what you want to do in life and friendships, sometimes family problems, social problems. Like there's so much social guidelines these days of how you're supposed to look, how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to dress that some people like it does take a toll on their mental health. More chronic stress and pressure from like school, parents, or even peer pressure. So it's just like a lot of things like that. So part of it is the culture that we live in is, is hurting us. Like the, me the methods of advertising and, and social media and how that affects the human psyche. Like these are all things that are really new for humans and we're not quite sure how to figure them out. When you look at yourself in a negative light, it's going to start affecting you on a regular basis, your confidence, your ability to, to interact with others, be social, all those kinds of things. And you know, antisocial nature often leads into negative emotion. Um, a lot of it has to do with stigma. Um, you know, say that somebody likes a very specific thing that the average I say average person doesn't necessarily, they may start feeling a little bit outcasted, a little bit different, and that could lead into a lot of mental health issues. Um, at least if left, you know, unvalidated. Um, I think learning about mindfulness and, you know, not getting caught up with anxiety and thinking ahead and about the future and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, making time for exercise and not studying like tons and tons, you know? I think that's really important and something that students need to learn how to balance within within their life. For myself, I know I grew up with a lot of bullying. I mean, I'm a short guy and I did pretty well in school, which means I was like target number one. So for myself, I needed to have what I called my own sanctuary, where there was something that belonged just to me. For me, I played a lot of video games growing up because I had control over that. You know, no one could tell me if I was good at it or bad at it because it was mine. So for you, there needs to be something that you own, something that you have complete control over and no one else can judge what that is to you. Because then you get to explore your real self. You get to see, you know, am I, am I comfortable with this? Am I being myself? Because it's hard to know what yourself really is when other people are telling you what you are. I feel like, uh, Social support is probably one of the biggest uh, factors that contribute to a state of good mental health and well-being. Uh, in addition, I feel like if we incorporate uh, activities like exercise in a social atmosphere like soccer, team, team building sports, uh, that can facilitate good mental health. Um, other things is, is really writing through your emotions and trying to trying psychotherapy is great for some kids because they get, it gives them the opportunity to talk through what they're going through. You just have to understand that mental health is not just um, something that's going on, on chemically in our mind. It's a multifaceted issue because we're multifaceted beings. So there's no like one thing that's going to help us. Just one place that gives us pills is not yeah. going to help us. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like resources for helping our mind, um, the gymnasium, the library, like places where we can get good organic food. You know? Yeah. Um, frankly, I think somebody to talk to is what it comes down to is uh, just have someone dedicated outside of their social so, social circle to be able to go out of their way and speak to them. Just say like, look, this is how I'm feeling. Like, is this normal? I think that's the big thing about youths is that they don't really realize what they're feeling if if it's like normal or not. Again, I use the word normal, but uh, whether it's healthy, I suppose, mental, me mentally speaking. Um, to be able to say like, I do something that most people don't seem to do is, and I, it makes me feel bad about myself because I, I don't see other people doing this. So is that okay? And the answer is usually yes. Um, the answer is usually that's absolutely okay. In fact, you should take that and push it as far as you can because it is good for you. Good to push yourself to do what you enjoy above all else.